in my in me. Yeah, you ready? Oh, again, you have clean. I think they're unlikely to be like absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'd imagine that a lot of those, to be fair, are because the lovely Bungle John movies have obviously got quite a few followers, uh, which is nice. Um, thanks very much, Andrew. I've been in bed now for about an hour. I am, Owen. Um, I'm live now, mate. Let me just double check if he is, then I shall end my stream and start again. farewell. He is. So, yeah. Everybody, I wish you all a very good night. See you all again soon. I'll be back Tuesday. Do my normal shift from 8 to 12. Have a lovely evening. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Hello! Alright, who we got? We've got Lighty. Warren, how are you mate? No easy money, how are you? Andy from Coin Cupboard. Uh, Popcorn King, hello. We shall just wait for a few more to come in and we shall get going through some coins. <laughs> Well, let me just sort some stuff out on here, turn the volume down, so we're not getting any, any interruptions. Let's get the live stream, there we go. Ah, buzz, ah, tell me about it mate. <coughs> Still got my cough, still got the old man flu cough. <coughs> oh, okay Roy. Okay, so yeah, I've just caught, I've managed to catch a few bits of Scott's live stream and Bungle. Really good live stream. I did enjoy which parts of it that I did see. Tonight was more of a catch up day, getting the kids ready for school, having a couple of hours with the wife. I'm a celebrity, my bad. So it's been a bit of a quiet evening. So, how is everyone? I watched the advert with the dragon on it today. I bet you want one now, don't you? You'll have to go and buy one now. I've got it all to come. I've got to be queuing up at... On the 28th, I've got to be queuing up outside Audi at 6 o'clock in the morning. The wife's orders here. Yeah, I've got to get these freaking Kevin and Katie things. <laughs> Good and knackered. I'm watching this in the office. I don't blame you, mate. Can't beat a bit of old, uh, bit of old coins and more UK from the office. I should imagine we'll get a few more in once they've all signed off. Off from Scott. So has everyone had a good weekend? Got some cool little things to show you today. Yeah, I'll give you a little clue, so we've got some coins with holes, to put it lightly, and then I'm going to be going for some, some old sixpences. <laughs> best weekend, dude, best I've had in a while. Now that's good to hear, and I did watch that, the quiz, uh, Absolute Coins' is quiz, that was brilliant. The, pro the production on that was incredible, I can't imagine how long it took them to edit that. But it was really, really good. Really funny. Yeah, thanks for taking over, Matt. I'm off to bed. And thanks for the subs. Yeah, good night, Scott. Well done on your live stream, mate. I did watch, I did try and watch as much as I could, mate. But yeah, the coin quiz was epic. It was really, really funny. It was the, uh, it was the buzzers that made me laugh more than out. The squeaky toys. Absolutely brilliant it was. Just some really nice fresh content on YouTube. It was nice to see that way. So well done. <coughs> and then I've just got this my box of coins. Unknown coins. I've not really sorted through all of this lot yet. There's like loads of little treasures in there to go through. I'm gonna put some on camera in a bit. 
once we've got a few more in. But I'm seeing we've got 10 in. Smash that like button. Anyone that's in the anyone that's in this live stream, smash that like. And of course, go and subscribe to everyone. Anyone that's new, let's get some subscriber numbers up. Learning the editing video side of life, yeah. It's easy when you're watching it back, but the pressure got to me. <laughs> you did well though, Andy. What, which one would you have? You know when you was um when you had the coin and you had to feel which one it was. Which did you have? Did you have the athletics? Was that athletics you had or was it the Team GB one? I couldn't have done that. I had a little go myself when I when I watched the video to try and get some coins, but I was useless. Ath athletics, yeah. I probably would have used my fingernails more than anything. So, uh, hello HMS Belfast, how are you mate? Oh, it's cracking, that. It really good. I did enjoy watching it. Um, I'm still looking forward to my first trip to the Mint on the 25th. Really looking forward to that. It's going to be a long old day, but it will certainly be worth it. And I think there is still quite a few of us going. What's ready to use? See, I, I use Wondershare Filmora. Yeah, Wondershare Filmora. That's what I use for my editing. Yeah, it's going to be a long, long old day when I go to the Mint. It's going to be a day trip for me. I'm going to be leaving at about 3 o'clock in the morning. Driving down to Wales. Having a whole day at the Mint. And then obviously driving back that night. Couple of hours kipping the car. I've just I can't stay over unfortunately, but like a, I've got a christening and then I've got work. Absolute nightmare. <laughs> so. Alright, so coins with holes, here we go. So when I used to do my worldwide coin hunts, these look like all the old little things that I'd find. Uh, they're not all coins, I must say. We've got some like national transport tokens and such, which I really like. They kept told of. Let me try and sort my lighting out. Do the coins come through quite clear when I'm putting them on camera? Yeah, I end up with no end of these transport tokens, just like that. And I've got like, some really weird big coins. Now it says it says Denmark on it, but I'm assuming it could be Denmark. I'm probably wrong. I always am with these worldwide coins. I'm sometimes useless with them. I say what 25, 25 or is it or Ori something like that. And 25 pesetas from Paris. That's how the Danish spell Denmark. See what I mean? You learn something new every day. And that's why I love showing these coins off. Always learning something. And then I've got some really weird ones. This is 1965. Uh, India. <laughs> I did. I did want to tune into your live stream, Andy, but I just, want, just really needed to have a few hours of the wife. I've kind of neglected her over the weekend. So I've got to play nice, otherwise I'll get nothing for Christmas. Keep it clean. Oh, I'll always keep it clean. I meant uh, a few hours on the sofa watching I'm a Celebrity. 
and a big bag of crisps. Yes, that's the way we roll. <laughs> That's what really. I had I had ten of mine, so that was fine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi Dean. How are you buddy? Dean, I'm, I'm just about ready to get your package sent off. Um, I've managed to find five, I think, five coins from the Falklands. I would show you, but it's literally all packaged up and ready to go, so I'll get you them sent. I'll get you them sent as soon as possible, mate. Bush took a trial. Yeah, it was brilliant tonight. Yeah, you got to love I'm a celebrity. Nice one from Hong Kong. No, that that's fine, Dean. That's I'm, I'm looking forward to getting that sent to you. Uh, Dean, apolog uh, Dean, apologies for earlier. I was not ignoring you. I was on the phone. It's it's not good enough, Rowan, mate. It's not good enough. <laughs> no, we're nice. Uh, sorry, is it Indian? No, it's Hong Kong. Hong Kong. What a weird coin. So yeah, these are like some of the ones with holes in. I'm going to try not to bore you too much to death with these polos. I love not smoking coins. But this is, what, this is the one that always gets me. So I'm literally, this is all the worldwide coins and miscellaneous coins that I've still got to sort through and put into tubs. So I'm going to show you a few because some of these are really interesting. And uh, it's all fair, fair enough going on Google, but when you've got hundreds and hundreds of coins, yeah, Google just gets a bit repetitive, so I'd much rather try and show you this lot on camera. But this one, I can't seem to find out. Um, do you have any other ones from Hong Kong? I've got loads, Andy. There's, there's loads in this tub. And uh, when, when I showed off this tub last time, Dean noticed that I had some Falklands coins in here as well. So he's, uh, he's bagsed them, and they're on his, them Falklands coins are on the way to Dean. But yeah, there's loads of Hong Kong coins in here. I've got, I've got loads, mate. Um, it's just sorting through them. So if you want them, I'll, I'll send you them as well. Ah, they are smart. Yeah, I've got no use for Hong Kong coins, Andy. So yeah, if you want them, mate, just let us know. I'm quite happy to send them down to you. But this one that I do like. I've been trying to do a bit of research into this to try and find out what the coin's made out of. Because I'm not sure if it's made out of copper or, or something else. Can we look at the colour of it? So this is one SEDI. It's a 1970, uh, 1979 and it's from, from Ghana. It's, it's huge. It's massive coin. Cardboard, yeah. Brass, yeah, brass or copper. I, I've looked online and I've even used CoinScope, but I think CoinScope only gave me one, one result back and it didn't tell, tell me what it was made out of. That's a really cool coin. And then on these before we've got the old five shillings from Kenya uh, Ghana what year it's it's 1979 1979 that one so I've got a couple of the old five shillings from Kenya Oh, 
there. And then I've got this one. This one's Zambia. And I love the design on the back. <laughs> That's right, mate, it's getting late. So I'll go on a 20, 20 Nijui. Nijui, something like that. I'll blame my crazy accent. It's 1988 from Zambia. Cracking little coins in here. Little box of treasures, I tell thee. And then we've got 100. Right, see if any of you lot can tell me where this one's from. Belize. Yeah, of course, uh, Popcorn King. If I do find any, I'll certainly get in touch with you. So this is 100 something. Um, 100 something. It's got 46, so I assume possibly 1946. But the design is, is really good. It's got so yeah, it's got some sort of flowers. It's either sunflowers or some sort of large plant. They've got a nice, a nice twenty cents. Well, sixty seventy percent copper, forty. Yeah, I'd I'd say I'd say Malaysia, Malaysia or Korean that one. But here we go, another another coin from the year I was born. Nineteen eighty seven, Jamaica. Look at that one. Some nice little shrubs on there. Yeah, cracking little coin that one. Okay, so and here we go. This one has got the three lions on. Oops, my cameras fell down. Look at that. I'm slacking. Let me move this. Oh, let me get this out of the way. Let's have a look. Sorry about this, guys. I'm losing everything here. All right, so let's get sorted. All right, there we go. So, um, yeah, here we go. Now, this is Guernsey. It should be my territory box. Hello Jamie, how are you buddy? So Guernsey. Really nice, really good quality. And this is 1982. Ah, not a problem Jamie. At least you popped in mate. Always good to see you, mate. So I'll keep that to one side again, see. Um, yeah, I've just... I've just seen one that I wanted to show you. Nineteen seventy four shilling from Kenya. There we go. It's really nice. I believe another one. Could this be from Guernsey? Again, I'm still, yeah, like I say, I'm still sorting through these. And then we've got 
a it's a it's one penny 1979 and I assume that's Jersey or Guernsey as well so I'll keep that to one side in fact I will grab my territory as well in a minute So these are these are almost fair territory coins. In there we've got Isle of Man, Jersey Guernsey. In there, so I'll put them two in there. Oh. I mean, anyone on this um, anyone on the stream, if there's any coins that you want, just let me know in the comments, and I'm more than happy to send any of these coins out to you. I don't want anything for them. I've got all these coins for free. They didn't cost me a penny, they were discovered. Ah oh, mate, if I had a few gardens, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> yeah, if any of these coins, they didn't cost me a penny. Uh, Dean, yes mate, I did get your message and I'll, I'll sort you them out mate, don't you worry about that. Don't you worry my friend, I shall get you some sorted. So, yeah guys, any, any coins that you like on this stream, just let me know. having a hunt and then we've got some some really old ones like this one I've no idea where this one's from not a clue in the world uh, Dean says cheers yes not a problem I'm guessing it could be again could it be Korean Chinese no it's not Chinese definitely not Chinese writing surely What are you focusing on at collecting at the moment? So, collecting, mate. I am uh, 50p's, of course, £2 coins, territory coins. The, these are just all spares. Territory coins, uh, Australian, USA, um, New Zealand, and Canada. They're, they're, they're kind of my main focuses at the moment. I love the Australian coins, New Zealand coins. Absolutely stunning. Here's another nice one. Might I would have said just coos. Might you're to blame getting me to foreign coins. Yeah, well that's it. I mean, when I was filming the Worldwide Coin Hunts on my channel, I got through three bags three one kilogram bags of coins for my videos I mean I've since stopped filming them but I will be getting back into that soon but yeah I, god you end up with no end but I, I just love I just love looking through them cool I've got a bunch of Australian Canadian I can send you that would be fantastic uh, Andy like I said I, I have um, I've got Dean a massive big package lined up. I've got you a massive big package lined up with all your UFO coins and such. But yeah, anything that you, you want to send in, mate, well, that would be fantastic. And if any of these coins, mate, that you see, just let me know or let me know via private message if there's any specific coin that you're after or from what country. And I'm pretty sure that I've got it. Like, I've got thousands, thousands. This is This is just one tub. <laughs> this is a big package keep. I am trying. I'm going to get some really interesting ones. So again, I do love this Indonesian one. <laughs> My wife always says that to me. Anything that I come out with, she always says I'm being rude.
and that one is this one's from uh, sorry Indonesia it says that on the coin I should have known <laughs> yeah that's that's why I'm showing off a lot of these coins on on the live stream because you know there might be some coins that you want I'm more than happy to do trades so anyone obviously Dean I've got your message Andy just send me a message mate any coins that you're after any country mate got a really nice 1964 just there from this was uh, Denmark <laughs> Denmark it's like when I watch uh, Christopher Kleck's world coin hunts when he has every single bit of information about every coin he finds that was just so time consuming but he does well, he does well in the videos. Another one of my favourites. Twenty cents. Lovely Fiji coin. I do like this one. Really nice. Uh, date runs. Yeah, I could quite easily do date runs with some of my coins. Um, let me show you what I mean. So, for example, when, when you mean date runs, <laughs> what are you drinking? I'm having Bailey's. I've got good old Pepsi. So, these are the Belgian ones. All the Belgian francs in here. I've literally got tons and tons and tons of them. And I could quite possibly do several date runs with what's in this box. It just tore down. And these are all these are all the old um these are all the old Belgi Belgi <laughs> Belgian Franks Dutch and French that's what I did wonder but the heads are always the wrong way around so I can't just flip the coin round Yeah, so we've got, yeah, that was that Belgi, and this one is Belgi as well. Again, the head's upside down, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> so that's, that's uh, all my Belgian coins, and I can quite easily do some date ones with them. Now this, this is a good one. Can, can any, anyone guess what these are? Can anyone guess what where, what these are? Just look at the pile in there. Hi Grace. And these are all your centimes. I get more more of these coins. Lighty, are you trying to get one coin from every nation? 
I should imagine I'm pretty much there to be fair. Yeah, they, they are French, so tons and tons and tons of these. Oh god, where am I looking? Where's the camera gone? Yeah, they would send teams. Yeah, hello Grace. Oh, it's upside down again. Let's see, I've got tons of these send teams. And this is when I was doing my world coin hunts. Literally everything in here. I could I could do several date runs with these send teams. 1963 just there. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. So that's another pretty much full top. And then we move on to the Spanish ones. Spanish. Wave them up. Right, they're going to fall out the box if I'm not careful. <laughs> but these are these are Reposators. You've all seen these before. Common as much. I might have a couple of rare ones in here. Oh, I've got some nice ones that I do like. I can never find them though. So, like this one. I mean this one is huge. Uh, right, well, we got, they're not upside down, it's called coin orientation. It is actually us Brits who are wrong, <laughs> as we have it as a medal orientation. We used to have it upside down a long time ago. Ha, that's brilliant, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, tons of Spanish, yeah, Espana, a nice 82, but this one's huge. Absolutely massive. I've just got tons and tons of them. Tons and tons. And most of these were from when I was doing my world coin hunts. World coin hunts. And a nice, old, a nice old one here. This is a 1953. <laughs> just there. Yeah, really cracking coin. And they're almost Spanish, so when you talk about date runs, I can quite easily, I can quite easily do several with what I've got just there. And more just here. Oh. All right, and then we've got some some of these as well. I, I do like these. These are the old, well I say old, the old drachma. The dates of the Spanish coins are actually in the store really small. I'm, I'm lucky I've got a really good magnifying glass, I will have a look. But that's what I mean, I've just got so many in there that I could, I could potentially potentially have some um, some really r rare coins but there's just so many there's 100, 100 there I do love the portraits on this though and this is why I hold on to these and I've got, I've got quite a few of the old, the old directors in there I bet, I bet Warren is sitting there thinking He's got some catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, all my Greek drachmas in there. Just so I don't fall down. Let's have a cut. Oh. 
Got all the, the Irish coins, all Irish. Most of them are with the with the cow. Matt, did you know that the biggest and heaviest circulating coin in the world ever is uh, Britain's cartwheel two penny? I didn't, but I shall certainly go on Google. Good old Google, and I'll have a look at that. <laughs> yeah, these are some some of my Australian coins, Andy. There we go. The Silver Jubilee. The Silver Jubilee. Yeah. <laughs> Grace would be good on that quiz that you all did. Get Grace on that quiz. I think she'll put you all to shame. And this is one I sent Warren with the duck build platypus. He did show this on his live stream the other day. <laughs> Yeah, she would, Andy. You need to get her on that, mate. I've got this really nice 1943. Half penny, is it? Yeah, half penny, Australian. I do love that. I mean, it's battered on the other side. I'm gutted. I really, I'm gutted. <laughs> so as you can see there's plenty of tubs of coins and that's just some of them I think that lot there that's about 10% of my world coin collection just literally about 10% of it crazy stuff and I've literally got a cupboard I shall show you you're getting an exclusive tour so this cupboard just there so Andy's got his coin cupboard that's my coin cupboard <laughs> and that's where that's where all my coins stashed so like any potential burglars that are watching this but yeah, this is where all my coins are. This is my coin cupboard. I don't I don't think I don't think Andy would fit in that one though. <laughs> yeah, that's literally my coin cupboard. Just there. You can even see how organised the wife is. She's even got this th them there, that's all the kids' school clothes folded including boxer shorts on the sofa ready <laughs> yeah I do, I do love my coin cupboard that's my coin cupboard i normally keep there's some stuff to keep underneath there and it's all kept in there next to the computer <laughs> there we are i've got a little must believe in the six P's. I'm pretty sure she does. <laughs> Everyone keeps telling me that I need to get a safe, but <laughs> my little cupboard, my little coin cupboard. But I can't sit in mine. I'm way, I'm way too fat. No, I don't. S silica packs. Are those are those little packets you find when you buy shoes and stuff? But no, I've never kept silica packs in there. I'm guessing you're going to say that I should.
I can see it coming now. I see. To be, to be fair, I should have known. I've seen UK Coin Hunt use them when he opens up his gold proofs and that. Yeah, I never thought about getting them in my cupboard. I, I didn't think I'd need them. But now I'll, I'll certainly invest. I'll, uh, I'll get on eBay and grab myself some bargains. Yeah, literally, pretty much my whole coin collection's in that cupboard, so... If you guys are saying that I could do with some silica packs in there, then I'll certainly look into getting some. Like I said, I've been collecting coins three or four years now, and I've never, I've never had any damage. I did to yours, Andy. Did, um, did you, did you ever get in touch with the Royal Mint about your, was it your silverproof tempies, where they got sent to you and those damaged? I did see a picture on Instagram about that. I was just wondering if you managed to get that sorted. Yeah. <laughs> I never think. I, I, I always, um, I always chuck them silica packs away. Because if I don't, the boys will, the boys will just eat them. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. To be fair, absolutely shocking. Really shocking. You would have thought the Royal Mint could have checked that a little bit better for you. I mean, I'm, I'm not quite sure how much each silver 10p is. But I'm assuming it's a pretty penny for each one. So I have been going through some shillings just recently. One had a massive divot out of it. Mental. Yeah, it's crazy. Nothing worse than obviously getting coins that you've paid a lot of money for. And they're damaged. Grace, have you heard anything about the Channel Islands? Uh, Channel Islands stopping their own coins and only using the UK in the future. I keep hearing things about that in the live streams, but I never stick around long enough to... To get the full story about that one, you'll have to inform us later, Warren. So yeah, I've been going through some shillings just lately. Now I, I did ask some advice on this about a week ago, but I've since forgotten uh, what date these have got to be. Um, to be silver, should, should have been for God forty-five pound a letter. Oh, I'm mad! Absolutely crazy, mate. You get paid better than I do. Wow, that's mad. So yeah, these um, shillings, I believe if they're before a certain date, they'll, they'll contain some, some amount of silver. I've got a whole pre-46. Pre so this one is in 1946. And I believe I have got some older than this. So these are all my shillings. Again, another big box full of them. Let's have a little look, see if we can find a, a pre-46. Got a nice 47. It's funny looking at these, because they look so much different to how they were stamped from today. And we've got a 63. 256s. But I'm not having much luck here. There we go. And that's 42. So that's 1942. Um, six pence with some sort of silver in it. <laughs> And then I've actually got another one, so. 
This one's 45. So are these 100% silver or have they got any other metal mixed in with them, do you know? So that, that's, that's three already, pre-1947. And then another, yeah, here we go, another 47. Half silver. Grace is brilliant. I need Grace in every live stream that I do, especially when I'm going going through all these coins. She's the sort of person you want around. And the rest are just sixty threes and fifty eights and such. Now, what about? Okay, now what about six pence? Come on, Grace. Don't let me down now. Nah. So these are little six pences. Now what date do we need on these for them to be silver? So I can put them, I'm going to put these on eBay and like ask for a thousand quid for them. <laughs> I think I've got a spot that needs to pop in here, oh dear. Come on Grace, you're slacking. Yeah, these little six pences. Oh, I've just, I've just dropped one. Now I'm slacking. Pick it up with my foot. Pick them up for a quid each, probs. Ah, that's not bad. Quid's a quid. I, I, haven't, got, I haven't got time to uh, go on Wikipedia and... And look about these coins. This is what you're here for, to tell me. Come on. You're my little, you're my little assistant. <laughs> Same years. Oh, brilliant. Got 56. Now, this, this one's 41, but it's, it's rusted. Is that rust, or is it just toning? So this is silver 41. Why, why is it going rusty? Does silver rust? Yeah, of course it, it must do. Sixty-seven. I'm not doing too well with these sixpences. Toning. There we are. Grace to the rescue yet again. So yeah, looks like I've got a few silver there, and I've took, I'm going to take some screenshots of these dates, so I don't keep forgetting. No, oh, don't fall. I've got some territories. So eight doubles. Oh god, I had it the right way around. What, what am I doing? Oh no. Hang on, I do like these. I do like these doubles. 1945. Really nice Guernsey coin. <laughs> Yeah, they are nice. I do, I do like the doubles. I don't know what the camera's doing. Doubles of rum, yeah. I've got a nice 47 from Jersey. Yeah, George. George the six. Oh, that's a cracking little one. I've still got, like I said, I've still got so many coins to go through, so I never know. And then I've, I've got loads and loads of these two pences. I've got loads of these. Someone, someone found one of these earlier. Oh, 
but I do like the two the two pence. I wish the Royal Mint did something with the two peas. But I do like them. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I've got a couple of them, two peas. And I've got a 1984, 1984, another jersey. Again, same design as that one, but obviously a lot older. So what's, uh, I'll, do, I'll just pause for a second. Um, so Grace, hey guys, do you want to hear something really weird about the very old English versus Scottish, Scottish sh shillings? I still don't understand it myself. Yeah, please enlighten us, Grace. I'd, lo I'd love to hear about that. Got a nice 1971. Another nice two pence. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II. Another nice jersey. Yeah, please, please just shout at me if I've got a coin here that's worth a million quid. This one's 20 pence. A Castle Russian Clock, 2007. Yeah, well, as you know, a shilling is 12 pence, right? But for some strange reason, the old shillings. Go figure. It's not, it's not like the old baker's dozen, is it, where you get one extra? Oh, <laughs> one less. Or well, many less, by the looks of it, actually. Huh? Crazy story, that. The old What's the question? It was five. Plus three pence. That's, that's mad. That's, that's really weird. Go figure. If I, if I go and try and figure that out, my head would explode. It really would. It really would explode. So we've got another nice one. A 1982. From the Isle of Man. <laughs> this is when Scotland and England weren't united yet. Some crazy coin facts. So yeah, a really nice Isle of Man there. What sort of design is that? Uh, some sort of like a soldier with shield and, and swords. And I think we've even got the one penny. This is 1985, just in case it's not coming up clear on the screen. And yeah, I've got quite a few of the old 20p's. So I've got a 2,009 20 pence. This one's from Guernsey. Yeah, it's, it's been really, I do appreciate Grace coming onto the live stream, she's certainly adding a fair bit of en entertainment with, with the facts. It's really appreciated when someone comes on and the conversations flowed really, really nice tonight and as done on several of my past live streams, everyone seems to love coming on at this sort of the time and just, just having a, like a late night chin wag, nice and chilled out, just going through some coins. To end the day, it's, it's brilliant. So, sorry, this, yeah, where was this one from? Yeah, Guernsey again. It's got some sort of map on it. Really nice one, that. But yeah, if, if um, no one has subscribed to Grace yet, please go and do it. And of course, any of the coin tubers on here, coin cupboard. 
coin cupboard's got plenty of subs. <laughs> I can't believe how quick your channel has actually grown, to be fair. You've done really well, um, Andy. You're doing really well, mate. I'm quite impressed with your stats. And another, another Falkland Highlands that I've just come across. I think that's a duplicate of the one that I'm sending in to Dean. So I've got a 1992 map. Okay, so yeah, right, I've got 20 pence here. 19... 2009. <laughs> Cheers, Andy. And then I've got a one with 1992. Same design, different years. I didn't, I didn't know that. And then another nice Isle of Man, 20 pence. With the fish. Some sort of fish on there. Yeah, you can't beat the old sheep. Oh. Uh, 82, Andy. Um, it is. It's 86. 1986, this one. Is, uh, is the 82 one I should be looking out for? <laughs> the only sheep coin I have shows it being hung like dead. <laughs> That's awesome, Grace. Okay, and then we've got another 20 pence. Jersey this time. The castle. This one's an 82. I just guessed. <laughs> this one's an 82, Andy. You must have... That's really weird that you've just said 1982 and then I've pulled out this one with 1982 on it. Crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. And then that's it for the 20 P's in this box. Got loads of a nice two pence with a cow. I meant that one. <laughs> You you have to blame the blame the lagging. Blame the lag, mate. And yeah, so I'll go for a few more. So a nice two pence with the the old moo cow on there. And then I've got a really nice Guernsey five pence. So hopefully you can see that, Guernsey 5p, they're nice little coins as well. Oh, my fat fingers don't get in the way. And then we've got this one, now this is um, 1975 5 Pound, five pound. Oh god, you can tell it's getting late. Nineteen seventy-five. Oh, uh, new pence. It says, yeah, five new pence. Sorry, guys and girls. Uh, Matt, where do you get your phone coins from? Are they from Travels? Um, there's a few different places I've got my coins from. So I first started doing worldwide coin hunts on my YouTube channel. So my first lot of coins were sourced from eBay. I'd buy one kilogram bags at a time and just film myself going through them. So that was that. But all these territory coins, about a month or so ago, a family member was having a clear out of a loft. And literally, and I have got videos on my YouTube channel of everything that I found up there. Uh, but yeah, up in the loft was just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coins, banknotes, tokens, the lot, you name it, it was up there. And even like coin sets, just, just everything. And the majority of these territories came from the loft. <laughs> and then any other coins were just found in change.
So I do, I do, I do, I do get quite lucky to say that I don't coin on, on my channel yet. I'm always getting really lucky. But yeah, it was some, it was really, really some discovery. Uh, that one, I'll, I'll just try and quickly find a link. So I might just stop on for a few more minutes. I'll just post a video of the uh, the old uh, coin coin haul. Oh, I did find. I did find another, another 1982, 20 pence. Oh, another nice coin. Right, let me just find this um, loft here at more attic. Right, here we go. Hopefully my volume's turned down on my computer, it is. I'll just get grabbing this link, guys. Uh, especially Grace, if, if you do want to watch it, it's entirely up to you. So there's part one. There we go. And this is part two. Um, where is it? There we go. And here we have part two. So there's two different parts there. There we go. So anyone that wants to go and watch them videos, you can do. But in my own little in my own little way, I did try and record it the best that I could. Just so so much so much coins, so much it really was. Let's see a few. We'll go. Few more territories. There oh, is an interesting one. So another Isle of Man, five pence, 1976. That's a nice little cracking coin. And this one I do like. This is a Gibraltar, 1996. Gibraltar. That's another nice one. These territory designs are stunning. They really are. And then we've got We've got a nice 1992 jersey. Yeah, jersey is right. <laughs> so, a nice one. And then I've got a fair few of the, the old shields. I believe it's shields. So. The Jersey Shields, I've got a nice 1981. There's Jersey, yeah, just make sure it is Jersey because I do sometimes get them muddled up. And then we've got one from 1968. Oops, itchy head. <laughs> Transport token, I don't know how you get in there. Ah, here's another nice one. Another 75. From the Isle of Man. And then we've got some pennies. We'll go through a few pennies. Now this one I love, I do love this one. So this is Isle of Man, and it is 1980, but just cop a look at that. It's got some sort of a, I'm guessing it's some sort of a big cat, panther maybe. A 1980 Isle of Man. Manx cat, yeah. 
That's cracking design, I do love that. Really nice design that one. And then we've got a 1980 shield on the jersey coin. Nice little penny there. And then another jersey with uh, some sort of lighthouse on it. 1984. Really nice that one. And then a 1979 penny. This one is from. Well, this I've shown you this one earlier. There we go. I have got some. I've got. I've got quite a lot of albums. I think once I've got through all this lot, I'm going to start getting my albums out and just really showing my collection off. Because I've got such a massive collection, but for me it's just easier to grab the loose coins out. No easy money, thank you very much for, for popping by and watching the stream. Well, there we have it for most not most of my um, most of my spare territories anyway. What what I did treat myself to the other day though. So I did treat myself to the the other day. I've uh, got myself this. So the old nineteen eighty six. The old is is this the common? No, I don't think I don't think that's common mouth. Popcorn King, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, see you again soon, mate. So down, nice little coin that one. And then I treated myself to a set of the old penguins. Now these are really shiny, so my LED ring light might really uh, make me struggle to show this on camera. So this is. Gen 2 Penguin and then we've got the King Penguin and we've got the Rock Hopper and then we've got the uh, Mega Megalanic Penguin. <laughs> Can I say it right? Yeah, the penguins. You can't go wrong. Stunning coins. And then I've got the Macaroni Penguin. This one's my favourite. Looks like me when I spike my hair up. Really nice coin that one. And then also, uh, like I say, I did put the uh, the video up. I've never, I've never got myself one of these, which was the clasped hands. You know, one of the cheaper 50 pence pieces, the old style anyway to get. I've never had one for some reason. All the coins that I've got in my collection, I've never had one of these. So, you know, thanks to the Great British Coin Hunt, Ian's website, I managed to pick this up. Didn't cost me an awful lot at all. So, yeah, really happy with that. Oh, you've got nice. Lovely stunning gold plated Titanic coin. Because apart from the wife, the kids, coins, Titanic is one of my go to areas. I'm as much the historian when it comes to Titanic. Really nice gold proof coin that is. And then, and then last coin that I'll probably show for tonight is the old Festival of Britain 1951. And then inside we've got this lovely I think lovely five shillings. 
Uh, that's a stunner of a coin, that one. I love Penguin's chocolate coated ones. <laughs> and there we go. And that's it, that's, like I say, that's just some of my collection. I just wish, I see a lot of coin tubers doing videos where they show the whole collection off, but I think if I wanted to show my whole collection off uh, properly, God, I, I'd, be, I'd be going into about like an hour. My video would be at least an hour long. Easy. Just a sheer volume of coins to get through. But I will do it one day and it will... <coughs> God, I've got such a cough. That will be on my YouTube channel at some point, my whole collection, because I would love to show people exactly what I've got. Yeah, you've got to look, you've got to love the old penguins. So let's put there. And let's put them there. But that no, has been really good. I've enjoyed tonight's stream. I do love these eleven till twelves. There was a, always a fascinating bunch of people that pop on, lovely friendly bunch of people and yeah I still love being part of the community, it's absolutely fantastic, I get such a, a good vibe from when I do my lives so I do appreciate you all coming on, chatting away with me, it really really is a lot of fun. And then of course you know we've got, we've got quite a lot of good things coming up on the Great British Coin Hunt, obviously we've got on the 1st of December we've got the penny auctions. Hopefully very soon we'll be hitting 5k, so be look, you know be looking out for a gold proof giveaway when we hit that. And then who who knows what we've got coming up in 2020? To be fair, I mean based on how much the channel has grown this year, I can't imagine what what's to come next year. I really can't. But I, I do think everyone does such a fantastic job. Uh, obviously, you've got Warren, you've got uh, Dean and Moira. I absolutely adore their streams, especially when the kids are getting involved and in going through coins. Uh, Steve, fantastic. Plenty of knowledge when it comes to Steve, he's, he's absolutely fantastic. Then we've got good old Hannah, still the uh, the only fe female CJ apart from, oh no, we've got Sue. We've got Sue as well now, <laughs> Scott's wife. Um, and, and of course, you know, we've got Scott as well, he's, he's been a fantastic addition to the channel. He's such a chilled out blog, and I could watch him all day, it's, it's brilliant. But I would like to thank everyone for sticking around. I know it's late, but I, I would like to thank you all for sticking around in my live stream and just having a good old chin wag. And it, it's always nice to see some familiar faces as well. But yeah, guys, if, if you haven't already subscribed to each other's channels, please go and do so. We're all about community, helping each other out. But, you know, thank you very much Grace, I really do appreciate that. Oh look at Warren mate, I, I'm terrible Warren mate, I'm, I'm terrible, I'm going to get told off. Female CD, Hannah, Sue, Polly and Louise, oh I'm, I'm terrible, I'm absolutely terrible. Yeah, we've got the 10p coin auction coming up soon. Warren tells me the dates of these all the time, but my, my memory is like a goldfish. <laughs> it is terrible. But yeah, we've got the 10p auctions coming up. We've got the penny auctions coming up on the 1st of December. And then of course we've got the uh, the uh, Christmas tree, the Christmas tree raffle. So keep an eye out for that one, raising money. Raising money for the charity, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've still got to we've got to get raise, raising some money so we can get Warren in drag. I'm going to be pushing that. Yeah, sorry, ten pieces when we hit five k. One piece first of the month. There we are, Warren. I do I do apologise, mate. And then yeah, we've got to. I think over the next couple of live streams, I'm going to be raising some money for Warren's charity and so we can uh, so we can see him in drag at the, the Mint Tour on the 25th of January. I'd love to see that. And then I, I think um, coming up very soon, possibly within, in the next week, I believe we might be getting a visit from Martha again. So that is an exclusive 
that as an exclusive announcement. We've got Martha popping on in the next week. So I'm sure everyone will look forward to that. And I hope all the moderators are ready. <laughs> but yeah, Warren, mate, I'm going to be raising lots of money, mate. We need to get that. We need to get them figures up. We really do. And then I'm looking forward to getting Martha back on screen. But seriously, I think on uh, Martha's stream, but we'll, we'll, like, oh God, about three or four moderators, I think we might need on that one. <laughs> and then of course, what else was there? Yes, Martha's Queen's Speech. I forgot, I forgot to mention that on my stream, but it's definitely happening Christmas Day, 25th of December, 12 o'clock sharp. Martha's Queen Speech will go live on YouTube. I say live, I'm going to pre-record it. I'm going to pre-record Martha's Queen speech. And then I'm going to set it as a live. I'm going to upload it as a live on Christmas Day. So people can watch the video live and they can comment live. And I'm really, it's such an incredible idea that was. Oh, Warren, mate, the Queen speech, I've got so many ideas. When it comes to me and Martha, oh God, anything is possible, it really is. It looks as if I missed anything out of the conversation. <coughs> well, that's been good this evening. It's been good to see, um, obviously, the live streams getting back to usual. And as always, you know, on, on this on this channel, we're all about family. We're all about community, and we just we just want to all be there for each other. Just make each other laugh. Talk about coins. And like I say, we are all one big community, and I'm pretty sure. Anyone would do anything for anyone on this channel. But I do love this community. <coughs> and uh, I, will I, will, I will stay very loyal to it. Obviously I've got my own channel. <coughs> oh god, sorry, I've got such a bad cough, I don't know why. It's because I've not had a fag. But I'll always stay very loyal to this channel. And then also, yeah, I've got my own, my own channel, UK, uh, Coins and More UK. So uh, yeah, it's a busy old time, you know, the kids, the wife, work, um, the Great British Coin Hunt, and then obviously my, my own channel as well, that's doing really well, and partly down to that, you know, it's, it's come back to life since I've uh, joined this community, to be fair, lots of new interaction over there, which is brilliant, and any sort of interaction, likes, views, it help, helps channels massively, it really does. And that's why we encourage all you guys to support each other's channels because, you know, it's not easy filming videos and editing them and a lot of time and effort goes into to uh, YouTube when it comes to like creating films and such and th even the live streams as well. But, but we are one big family and uh, it's going to stay that way, it, re it really is because I, I enjoy doing this so much, I really do. Especially, like I say, the kids have gone to bed, my wife's gone to bed. Um, I'm, I'm never an, an early sleeper. You know, one to a clock most nights I'm asleep, but I'm always up early for some reason. So, you know, it's a good way of, you know, for me to wind down and just have a good chin wag with, um, with, a different sort of with, with a different sort of community from my friend's circle outside of YouTube. And you get so much from it. Like I say, for example, you know, we've had Grayson today. You get so much out of these live streams. Some some of the information she's given us given us all today. Fantastic, useful, helpful. And this is what the Great British Coin Hunt is all about. It's all about the community. We're one big family and we're all here to help each other out when it comes to coin collecting. And of course with the auctions as well. Everyone's everyone's um going to be getting bargains. Good, good opportunities. It's just so worth sticking around for the Great British Coin Hunt. And I really don't think it'll be long before we get to 5,000. It really won't be long at all. But as for now, I'm going to say in the night. I'm going to go and wind down for half an hour before I get myself to sleep. But once again, I'd just like to thank everyone for sticking around on this live stream. And I shall see you all very soon. Hopefully I might pop back on tomorrow if there's... If there's any slots available, I'll get in touch with, with you, Warren, about that. 
because an, you know I say an, an, an hour a night it's not too bad at all now you're more than welcome Warren mate and I'll be in touch with you about hours I'm more than happy to do you know I'm more than happy to come on for an hour every night <clears throat> and have a little chin wag so that's it for me guys I'm going to be shooting off um, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all very soon for more coins Good night and yeah, cheers for tuning in to Coins and more UK's live stream. <laughs> See you later folks. Bye.